Here's something you've been able to do in Windows Notepad ever since Windows 3.1. If you press F5, it inserts the current time and the date. If you keep pressing F5, it keeps doing it. But that only happens in Notepad and nowhere else. Now while it is true you could go into Microsoft Word and create a macro to do the same thing, or in OpenOffice Writer or LibreOffice Writer, it would be better if you just had a single keystroke that worked universally across the Windows operating system. So anywhere where you type text, if you hit a certain keystroke, it will just insert the time. Well, you can do that with Auto Hotkey. Let me just close this here. Now, Auto Hotkey, let me just, uh, where's the help section? I think this is an older version. I, did, I don't know if I have the latest version or not, but it essentially works the same way as the older version does. Auto Hotkey is a macro editor, whereas you can assign certain keystrokes to do anything you want anywhere in the Windows environment, which is cool. Um, especially for like simple things like inserting the date and time in certain places, it's actually really nice to have. So even if I wanted to do it, like say, uh, and when I say you can do it from anywhere, you can do it from anywhere. Here's a Firefox browser, and I have. Uh, actually, before I show that, is the actual script. Now, hotkey, Auto Hotkey installs itself, which is available at autohotkey.com, and it's free. That's where you get it, by the way. When installed, you see this green H icon at the bottom in the taskbar tray area, and I right-click this, and I can edit the script. Now, the default script that comes with it is called autohotkey.ahk for auto hotkey ahk and it launches the notepad um, ed editors text editor so you can edit your stuff now i have some stuff already pre-configured in here and i have the uh, key co uh, ugh, can't talk i have the key combination of win z as in the flag key and z to output month day year hour minute anti meridian post meridian a dash and a space. So when I do it, and this is where I'll bring up that Firefox browser, so if I do a win Z, watch up here, Z, month, day, year, and um, 12 hour, hour, minute, and anti meridian, post meridian, a space, a dash, and a space. I have a space, a dash, and a space at the end of it because that's uh, particularly how I want it to be. Now, how you can do it. And again, I'll just retrace this step. Right click the H, edit this script. To assign a key to a, uh, a flag key combination of win, meaning the flag key, plus another letter of your choice. That's done by pound, the letter of your choice, and two colons. Now before you do this, you do have to make sure that it is a letter or other key that is currently not in use by Windows. For example, you can't use flag E because that's the Explorer. You can't use flag D, D is in desktop because that, that's for the desktop. Flag L, I believe, is for lock the workstation. Flag M, as in Mike, is, I believe, for minimize. And there are other keys that are already in use by Windows, uh, flag key combinations, so you will want to test it before actually putting it into an auto hotkey script. Like, for example, if you did a flag F12, that's obviously not in use. You could use that. I use Z because I know Z is not in use, unless it was already predefined elsewhere in the auto hotkey script. So, anyway, the way to go about it, and I will have this um, listed in the show notes below this video and in the blog post I put this on. First, you have to format the time. So the command for that is format time and then a comma. And then after that, you're formatting the current date and time, which is all one word is current date time and then two commas. And then after that, being I am an American, I do dates wrong. So I do month, day, year. For the rest of the world, it would be day, month, year, most likely. So you can format this however you wish. Instead of MMDDYYYY, you would do DDMMYYYY. And then uh, 12 hour, hour, minute and then anti-meridian post-meridian which is a.m. or p.m. Now if you wanted to change this to a 24-hour time instead instead of two lowercase h's it's two uppercase h's simple enough 
And then after that, what happens is that when I press Win Z, it will uh, send what whatever is after these two commas. So it's going to send month, day, year, space, 12 hour, colon, minute, anti meridian, post meridian, space, dash, uh, space. I added an extra, I have to actually put the bra uh, brace space and brace here because it doesn't put the space afterwards. So then when I do, uh, uh, actually, you have to save the script first, which is easy enough. File, save, and then right-click the H and reload the script. If there is no error returned, that means that the script was done correctly. I'll show you what happens if it was done incorrectly. Let's just say for the last line return here, I didn't type it right, and I save that, and I try to reload the script. You get an error, and it tells you what line error at line 40. Oh, you did something wrong. So I'll correct that resave it and reload again no error which means it's going to work so if I do a win Z right here there it is month day year space hour minute anti meridian post meridian or post meridian space dash space now if I change this and let's just say I do day I'll do it with dots day um, the month has to be capital. So day, month, year, 24 hour time. And I will do instead of um, anti marine, post marine seconds, which is SS. So now what it will do is day dot month dot uh, four digit year, 24 hour, hour, minute, second, space dash space and I will save and reload try it out there it is so it is May 2 2011 20 which is 8 36 and 28 seconds and if I do it again right below it you'll notice that the seconds have increased to 43 because that's the time that it has elapsed so then I will change it back to the way I had it. Month, day, year, 12 hour, hour, minute, anti-meridian, post-meridian, space, dash, space, file, save, reload, try it again. And now, oh, I didn't change it back to the uh, dash, the slashes, month, slash date slash here save reload try it again there we go now it's back to the way it was yahoo that in a nutshell it is it so by doing this you will have an accessible uh, output of the date anywhere where you can type and believe me this uh, you will find is very useful Oh, there's one last thing I will show you. If you'd rather have this happen after typing a specific um, word instead of a key combination. Now maybe you don't want to use a key combination. Maybe you just want to type a specific word and it will do it. I have one here for uh, WLWCSS when I'm working in Windows Live Writer, but I'll show you how to do it here. So let's just say instead of WinZ, I will do colon colon show the date colon colon. I do it all as one word because it is very unlikely I would actually type that out exactly unless I actually wanted this macro to work. So I will have it as show the date. Actually, I'll make it even shorter. I'll just date show. And then, or actually, I'll make it even shorter than that. D show. Save. And reload. Now, instead of Win Z, if I type D show and then press space. If I do it again, it'll keep doing it. So if you'd rather have it as a, a, a output that this uh, the current date and time after the a word, that's the way you would do it, is a colon, colon, blah, 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 whatever, colon, colon. That's the way it works. But I'd rather have it as a win z. Save and reload. Test it. Yep, works. Now if you're wondering, is 
can you have an infinite number of macros? Well, of course you can. You don't have to use just the date. If you want it to output whatever you want, if there's something you type a lot of and you want a quick way to do it with a keystroke combination or by typing a specific word. Um, for example, if there is a word you always misspell and you'd rather just have the correct spelling appear all the time, like when you're instant messaging or chatting with someone, <laughs> auto hotkey is definitely the way to go about it. There are many, many, many different things you can do with auto hotkey. It's really cool to use. And uh, But anyway, for the current date and time, now you know how to do it. Remember to check the show notes or the notes below this video, and you'll get the data you need in order to get started.